I am Rabbi Shaul Praver, and you're watching Rabbi Rock. Welcome. Bruchim Habayim. You ever notice when you go to a public event and everybody's there, maybe it's a formal event, and everybody's so tight and so guarded, and then they bring on a little bit of music or a little bit of dance, and then everybody relaxes and everybody starts talking to each other and the whole atmosphere of the room changes. And that is the power of culture that makes us truly human. In the Torah it says, Bekol atzmotai tehalelyah, with all of my limbs I will praise God. It's not just to, not enough to praise God just with our words, but with all of our body we need to praise God. And whether it is a secular dance, 
or a religious stance. It's all, in a sense, very spiritual. Uh, dance brings spirituality. Movement brings spirituality and, and ease and uh, comfort to people that engage in it. And today, we're going to be talking about the phenomenon of Israeli dance, which has hit the international scene, and people love Israeli dance. It's a very exciting. And we have here in the studio today two very masterful teachers, Lang and Yigal Asyag Tan. And they have a, a dance center down in uh, Stamford, JCC, uh, Stamford, Connecticut, not California. And uh, it's the Israeli Dancing with Len and Yigal. And with no further ado, I introduce uh, Len and Yigal. Welcome to Thank Rabbi Rock TV. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. Pleasure to have you. Now, um, you, uh, let's start with Len. You grew up in Brooklyn, Borough Park, is it? Brooklyn, no, Brooklyn in general, but I went to school in Borough Park. Oh, okay. In Cheapside Bay. Now, you're not Jewish, but you, were sur you lived in neighborhoods that were had a lot of Jewish culture and so on and so forth. Um, and somehow you, you, you got interested in Israeli dancing. How did that happen for you? Well, I actually took a one credit class uh, at Brooklyn College for international dancing. Mm -hmm. And um, I was exposed to music, dances from Greece, um, from Macedonia, hmm. uh, Balkan dancing, Turkish dancing, and uh, Israeli dancing. Mm -hmm. But my favorite has always been Israeli dancing. Hmm. Uh, something about the music really calls out to me. I don't know, I don't understand the lyrics, but something about the melodies really touched my heart. Wow. And um, 15 years of international dancing, I didn't know that there was just Israeli dancing. Wow. It was just like 15 years ago that I found out there were just Israeli dance classes, so I went crazy. Well, Israeli dance, <coughs> I guess by definition, you know, Israel has so many different cultures in it. Within so you Israel. could wind up having a song like the Turkish Kiss, the Shika Turkit. Uh, you could wind up having the, a Greek circle dance. You could wind up having music from literally all over the world, Russian dance. Exactly. Um, we have Israeli dances. Uh, I mean, obviously in Israel there are influences from Yemen, people from Yemen and Ethiopia, and so you have music with Kurdish influence also. Mm -hmm. But lately it seems that the music has expanded to include international uh, songs, um, uh, Irish music influences, um, Latino music. We have mm -hmm. a, line, a lot of line dances uh, yes. with Latino music and um, even East Indian line dances that are wow, recently created. That. So um, but I think uh, we've, it's become the new international look dancing. Look at that, wonderful. It's evolved and going back to in international dancing again. Fabulous. Mm. Okay, and uh, you go. You are also avidly involved in dance. Tell us a little bit about yourself and your path towards dance. Uh, I came from Israel, as you know, and um, Israeli dancing I started actually to do over here in America. I never did in Israel. Uh, really? I never found it interest in uh, Israel. And when I came to America, my sister told me to go to try Israeli dancing because I was a little bit bored over here in the beginning. <laughs> um, you probably and needed some um, connection with Israel. I mean, you probably felt like a yeah, fish out yeah, of water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the thing like I need like a little bit music because I was here uh, in the beginning and I all I heard it's English. So right. I want like after two years I feel like I need something to hear a little bit music spirit thing. So mm -hmm. uh, and I went once. I tried it out. I didn't dance a lot. I didn't know many steps there, but. It's become often once in a week, uh, once in a month, I would say, something like that, and then it's become often once in a week, and then twice in a week, and et cetera, like, it's become very... And it's good for you also. You look very fit, both of you, and um, the dancing is uh, very, very healthy. Yeah, it's very healthy. I, I see it as a sport, and I see it also... I remember myself as a child that always I want to dance. I didn't mm -hmm. know which dance I want to do, which... Mm -hmm. I, I knew that uh, I have the rhythm, but I didn't know which particular dance I want to do. But right. when I found Israeli dancing, I saw that, as Lange mentioned before, there is all the styles there. So this is attached to me a lot, and I become obsessive to it. Okay. Now, the two of you met on the dance floor at first uh, as friends. Yes. And then eventually uh, you, uh, you got married. We have a relationship, and uh, yes, uh, it's a very special relationship, and we've been good friends for a long time. and. We got married, and now we have this wonderful uh, 
class together. That's fabulous. Just sharing Israeli dancing. It's our mission to really share Israeli dancing and to show everyone that it's a wonderful um, uh, exercise. It's good for your mind, your body, and, and for your soul.